Maps Me application is finally letting me bike along the water. <laughs> I haven't got to do this in days. I'm so excited. I'm on this for about a mile and a half though, so. Usually I've just been riding through town, so. Finally, by, back by the water. This is beautiful. Uh, today is day six. I left Brussels this morning. I filmed a little recap three times now, and they've all been shit. Uh, this last one I filmed, it was way too windy, and I'm like, that's not gonna work. Oh, wow, look at all these poppies. You see all that red? Oh, wow, that's really pretty. When I arrived in Brussels two days ago, I ended up having to walk my bike quite a bit because once I got in the city center, the bike lanes were on the, the streets and so the traffic was kind of bad, so I ended up just walking it. And that was fine because it allowed me to slow down a bit so I could see even more stuff. Got to my hostel and was able to lock my bike up in a gated area, so that was good. Um, so yesterday on my day off, I got a late start, but then I went to the European Parliament area and did a free tour at the visitor center called the Parliamentarium. Ended up spending a couple hours there. Then I went to the popular Atomium that was built when Brussels hosted the World Fair in 1958. I was originally just going to take a picture of it from the outside, but decided that it was worth the 15 euros to tour the inside. And I ended up being the last one there because I thought it was open later than it was. So I got to be in some of the spheres and in the tubes by myself. So I ended up really enjoying it because I was really fascinated by all the pictures of the different countries' pavilions that they build, and it being 1958, I was just kind of interested to see what they all look like and the architecture, and um, it's kind of like a, a time to show what your country's about and show your innovation and creativity and all this stuff, so that was really cool. Then I ended up waiting in line for about 30 minutes for some Belgium frits or fries, and I suppose they were worth it. <laughs> Um, today I got a later start because um, I'm only going 16 miles today. So I, so Mons is only about 40 miles away and I was already going to split that into two days and the Airbnb I found ended up just being 16 miles away. And then tomorrow I'll have 23 miles to go. So I thought I could have a later start, leave my hostel at checkout at 11. Oh, it's not going to be paved anymore. <laughs> Let's, sh I'll show you that. <laughs> These cobblestones are actually really um, not enjoyable to bike on. <laughs> Cause they're so bumpy and I think I mentioned the other time that since I don't have shocks every bump is quite painful so I guess I'm gonna walk this um, hopefully not for a mile though to go um, I guess I can talk while I do this um, so since I only had a short day today I was able to stay a little bit later at my hostel and then go see some things this morning uh, that I didn't get to see yesterday. So I walked my bike to the Grand Place, which is the main square, kind of like a main plaza where the town hall is. And they had some really cool looking buildings there, but they were building a temporary stadium in the middle, so it kind of blocked the building, so that wasn't the best. Which I'm wondering if the stadium is being built because Brussels is the hosting the grand depart of the Tour de France that starts like next weekend. So I wonder if that's for that. 
So that's about it for Brussels. Wasn't my favorite city. <laughs> um, definitely not like as bike friendly as it's been. So, but it's probably just because it's a city. And uh, so yeah, I've got about 10 miles to go today. So easy day, taking it easy. It's a little bit cooler. Feels nice with this little wind. And that's about it. Later. Got another nice stretch by the water. 